In this country, we nationalised all our mineral rights in 1934. At the moment, about 25-30% of the country is covered by a licence. That's the 13th and previous rounds. But the 14th round is this big step change where they're adding about another 35 or 40% to that. Instead of having an exploration licence, then you move to a production licence. You get your PEDL and you start exploration. If you found something, you go back to the government and just extend it and you carry on without having to apply for a new licence. Now the government makes its money not out of giving out the licences, it makes its money on the royalties from production. So these licences are very cheap. Most of the people who've applied for these licences in the past, they've been little small local companies. And 2013, 2014, we're seeing this next phase developing where all those small companies are starting to sell out. They're shuffling their cards, ready to start dealing for production. In the meantime, George Osborne at the Treasury has stepped in has told the Environment Agency they've got to start issuing these licences in two weeks, not 13 weeks. So how the Environment Agency will even do its job of assessing the impacts in two weeks, nobody knows. So the government have rushed ahead with this because it's a way that their friends can make an awful lot of money selling and trading and doing all these deals. The government is influenced by consultants who bring in these foreign companies for a quick buck. And the fracking projects, they maybe last one, two years at most. Uh, then the sponsors declare bankruptcy, they move on, they leave the environmental catastrophe for someone else to, to, to deal with and pay for. Over the last 10 to 15 years, the whole industry in America has lost $35 billion. Now that's a bit more than JP Morgan's bank bailout, but not quite as big as Citigroup's bank bailout. And this is the point, the, the economics don't work.